Hello, my name is Dana Rubenstein from the Department of Educational Technology. Today, I will be sharing some best practices to help reorganize your Google Classroom classes. Is your class approaching the 100 topic limit? We know that Google sets this 100 topic cap and many teachers are approaching the maximum as we near the 100th day of school. The reason there is a 100 topic limit is that it takes bandwidth to load each of these topics which creates lag for teachers and students using the Google Classroom. The key is to chunk class content together, therefore making fewer topics. So let's look at some topic suggestions to reorganize your classes. Think of topics as folders to hold all the assignments, material, quizzes, and questions needed. The best practice is to group or chunk content in order to have fewer topics. Some topic suggestions include units, curriculum themes, modules or standards, learning targets, grouping by the type of assignment or subject area, classroom resources, by week or month, by past assignments, having an archive topic towards the bottom perhaps a first trimester archive or first semester archive, or as we near the end of the school year, maybe an FSA review or EOC review or AP exam review. Of course, make this relevant to what you and your students need for your class. To reorganize your Google Classroom, first, either create a new topic or rename an existing topic. Then, move the previous content into the new topic, and finally delete the topics no longer needed. Let's take a look at Google Classroom and walk through these steps. So here we are in Google Classroom and notice we have many different topics and you probably have even more than what's here. To create a new topic, go to the Create button and click the plus. Go to Topic and type in what your topic will be. Click Add. By default, the new topic will go to the top, but you can go ahead and drag that wherever you want it to go. If you would like to rename an existing topic, find one of those topics and click the ellipse to the right, go to Rename, Delete what's there and type in your new topic. Click rename and now we have that as well. To reorganize your assignments and material and quizzes and questions, you can do that in two different ways. One would be by dragging and dropping. So I can take one of my items. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna drag the actual topic. I'm going to drag the item down here and I can drag. Now it's a little clunky. So if you have a lot of items, this might get challenging, but you can click and drag and put that where you want it to go. Or if you have a long list, and you prefer not to click and drag, the other option is to go to the item that you'd like to move, go to the ellipse, click on edit, find your drop down for the topics and select the topic that you'd like to move to and save. And now I have that in my new topic. Once you have moved items into a new topic, make sure you delete the old topic by clicking on delete, which is the most important part. If you accidentally delete a topic or prefer to delete unneeded topics first, not to worry. Any items in that topic will go to the top of your class where uncategorized items land. 
and then you can go ahead and either drag or use the ellipse to move that item to the topic of your choice. So remember, Google Classroom limits 100 topics per class. So the best practice is to chunk content together in a relevant manner for your students, thereby having less topics. If you would like to make suggestions to Google to improve Classroom or request a feature, click the gear in the top right corner and then click the question mark in the bottom left corner to request a feature here, you can type your comments, give your feedback. You can even include a screenshot. Google definitely appreciates your feedback and they're always trying to improve their applications. Once you have that, go ahead and click send. If you have any questions about reorganizing your Google Classroom, please reach out to anyone on the EdTech training team. We also have additional resources on our website at edtechtraining.palmbeachschools.org. Thank you for watching.